Wing Chun is one of the most misunderstood arts out there. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it simpler and just more make sense for people. I've been doing this art for 29 years. I've gone through a lot of struggles. I've seen a lot of students struggle, but I've also seen many succeed. And, and it's these tips that I'm giving you that is gonna help you to understand Wing Chun just on a more practical, logical level. So today's lesson is gonna be on leverage and how Wing Chun's position or posture is like a dolly, okay? So a hand truck, right? So you know how the hand truck gets underneath uh, an object, right? And then it carries the weight of that object by leaning back and pushing forward. Well, Wing Chun is very similar. I'm gonna show you how the footwork and the structure of Wing Chun is like that hand truck and how you can apply it in your training against someone else's pressure or even someone bigger and stronger than you. So, looking at Wing Chun through the concept of a dolly or a hand, hand truck. So that's a lever, that's something that, that scoops underneath. Now Wing Chun, good Wing Chun wants to do that. It wants to be more grounded than the other person. As the other person comes in, we're looking to be much more connected to the ground. This is why you don't see any any uh, jumps or anything like that from Wing Chun. Everything is meant to be connected to the ground. Just like we're trying to connect to their center, we're trying to connect constantly to the ground. As someone comes into us, we're looking to come underneath them. So look at this, look at this footwork. This is the blade of the dolly or the shelf of the dolly scooting underneath the object right here. And then we do that with the arms at the same time. So someone's coming in and we're scooting underneath. This helps us to occupy their center. That's the goal of Wing Chun is to occupy their center. For the dolly, that, that means the piece of furniture is on top of the dolly on the shelf, uh, right? Underneath, um, the shelf is underneath that, that, that object. Then from there, what does the dolly do? Oh, the dolly leans back and rolls, okay? Well, that's the exact same thing that happens in your Wing Chun. You are using your Bill Ma step to scoot under, and then from there, oh, you can just walk to continue, uh, continue keeping their center because you've already occupied their center. You've already gotten their center at this point. So there's no need to try to scoot underneath their center. You're already there. But then from there, okay, you use your knees and your elbows to come stay underneath to control and keep your spine connected to the ground. The, the, the feet are like wheels that just continue on, okay? Continue on like the dolly. So as we're applying this concept to the dummy, these are the, this is the pressure, or I want you to think of this as the object of, of the furniture, right? We're trying to get underneath, really their center line, but in order to do that, this represents their elbows, this represents their humerus bone, right? And as we're looking to scoot under the dolly, we are gonna come here, okay? Notice that my back foot came underneath. Notice that my elbow is still underneath what is happening here. And this is how you would therefore occupy their center, right? Now, once you have their center, again, you can just simply uh, um, continue to walk if you're looking to for postural pursuit. If you're look and and you can even apply uh, strikes as well during that same time, but still you are, have already occupied their center. But I see it from the other side. It's here, scooting under. Notice that my spine is straight because that connects to the ground. That's <clears throat> that's like the back of the dolly where you lean back. That's where that sets and it's part of the ground and the wheels, the, 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 my feet are the wheels. So hopefully this helps you understand it. Um, um, you can even do it in, in a scissors as you come here, right? Notice that I'm still getting under with this pressure. We don't want this over top energy. We want the underneath in order to really get their center, occupy their center. So 
Ask me questions if this isn't clear. I, I want to try to help as much as possible. Like I said, make these things practical, make sense for you. All right. Sifu Adam Willis with the Dragon Institute. If you're interested in my course, my beginner's course, I have a 90 day course that is specifically for beginners to Wing Chun or those that are looking to transfer over to my methods. We refer, I refer to this as a Dragon Family Wing Chun. It's part of the Lung Chun lineage. Anyway, it's a 90 day course that goes through Sunim Tao, it goes through part of the dummy, it goes through uh, simultaneous attack and defenses, concepts, structure, even introduces the idea of stickiness or sticky hands through what I call the five energies. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff in this, in this course. You can go to wingchunlessons.com and see it. Again, I'm Sifu Adam Willison. Thank you so much.